just go in here, as I did last time, and just upload the thumbnail for today's stream. Alright. So yeah, if I remember correctly with where we landed last time. We had just completed the first quest. So we will continue from where we saved last time. And yeah, <laughs> almost, almost there to level uh, 21, I would have thought that doing that entire quest would have uh, would have put me over the edge there, but alas, it did not. And so we are now still trying to get to level 21, which will, I mean, <laughs> when you're when it looks like you're literally centimeters away from getting to the next level, it seems reasonable to assume that that is uh, something that is readily within reach. Now, yes, that is where we left off last time. Yep, Dim Hollow Crypt, and we freed Serana from her... She was, yeah. Yep, freed a woman, a young woman from the ancient sarcophagus. Now, if we see this, where it is on the map, that's yeah, pretty remote. As far as this in relation to everything else, I'm curious if that is solitude. Yeah, it's pretty. It's at the kind of northeastern extreme of the map, but travel to Fort Hagestrad. Well, weapons used by the Dawnguard do extra damage when attacking vampires. The surprise of the century. Alright. See, I had much faith in myself there, evidently. Right. Let's try that again. that bear coming from anywhere until it was literally right on top of us, so... This should be this. No, I 
to say smarter way, but I'm walking right off the edge of a cliff here. Oh, that's the thing with these cliffs. You can just kind of do that. Just kind of lightly jump all the way down. Mm. Yeah. Right. See? Okay. Why not? We'll just do Fusroda. I think I said to myself at the start of this playthrough of Skyrim that I would try and, I don't know, do like more of a sorcery path. I always try to do that in games. Try to get more creative, go more of a magic build, but I, I never do because that requires more of a great deal of strategy and thought, and I just, sometimes when I play these games, I just do, do not have the, the capacity to, to walk. That's privileged information. Now, move along. Well, I'm not going to deal with this now. I'm not sure what that is. But I will come back to that later. Alright. traveling let's get indoors We're in a cave anywhere just out of this you are not 
Okay, hey, so before we go in there, I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Hey, ladies and brothers, it's been a real long time. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it! Alright, now to speak to Mr. Vampire Lord himself. My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'd has like the to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now, so tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Very well. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries, we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I'm a werewolf. I did the, uh... I started doing whatever that fighting gift. Yes, I can smell it on you. The, fighting the power of my blood will purge that filth and to make you whole again. I will banish you from this castle. I will spare your life this once, but after that, you are prey. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do. I had completely forgotten I had joined that, uh, that fighting guild in, uh, I think it's in Whiterun. Hmm. The way I see it, my character is now I've completed the Dark Brotherhood questline. My character is the head of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm making gains within the, a fighting guild. The way I see it, and I could be wrong because I don't think I've played this expansion all the way through. But I think he would still survive at the end. He would still kind of lord it over me. And I don't like that. 
However, at the same time, I could become a vampire. I don't know what happens to Harkin. So be it. What? You are prey, like all mortals. What? I banish you. Oh. Well, never mind. I guess if you wait too long, it just makes a decision for you. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I didn't think that it would just make a decision for you if you waited too long. Alright, well, there we go. Guess I'm doing the down guard part. Anyway, alright. Let's just go back to Dawn Guard. Oh, I thought they were gonna That was really, really stupid, my lord. <laughs> so
so I used the shout and it knocked them over a little bit and then they thought I was attacking them even though they just yeah, got caught in the uh. Okay, let's try that again. I will admit that was kind of funny though. How you can accidentally do something that everybody goes against you. What do you want, Imperial? No, it all my life. It happened again. Alright, let's just play this out. Note to self, don't do shouts. Alright. We are reloading. And we are trying this again. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big note to self. Ugh. You know what, I think I have a better... So let's try this again. I mean, you, you gotta laugh during moments like that. Like, and this isn't even one of the worst shouts. Right? This is just a shout that knocks you... Like makes you stumble. Need something? All right. Let's try it again. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. It is so unbelievably finicky. I just don't get it. Wow. Yeah, I think he was running... That time, he was running in the cross path of my blade as I swung it and it just happened to nick do these people not do they do they never program in this game that friendly fire 
might happen. Friendly fire happens in real world conflicts all the time by accident. And it, when everybody's running around and kind of spazzing out, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to prevent that. Alright, I'm gonna be extra careful, or maybe I just try to stay as hands off as possible. too much. How on earth did I gain? we pay for over labor of course why did i suppose differently fine tell me what you know the woman trapped in there that doesn't make any sense who is she more importantly where is she and so you delivered her to them they what and you didn't stop them you didn't secure the scroll. Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Red to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people, and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Alright. Watch your back.
go off and recruit. Yes. I s at the end of the stream, I have to at least have leveled up to 21, but whatever. In other news, I guess, as I'm making my way through this, uh, I am wrapping up a first read-through of Brian Lee Durfee's uh, The Forgetting Moon, his first volume uh, in the Five Warrior Angels series. It's quite good. I'm about, well, 400 pages into it. I should be able to finish it for sure sometime tomorrow. Um, and I also should be able to get a review up on the channel uh, around that time as well. It's good. Um, I I can definitely see the uh, the influence of Tad Williams. I know he's quite inspired by him, uh, and he also mentions in the uh, in the acknowledgments of being inspired by. Well, where am I going? Um, he mentions being inspired by. Uh, Uh, he mentions being inspired by, uh, you know, George R. R. Martin, uh, Terry Brooks as well. And I can't say I've read the, uh, the Sword of Shannara, nor do I... Anyway, yeah, it's it's good. Um, I think, you know, as I was, as I've been reading it over the past few days, um, and this is, I suppose it it might be a criticism that people have of it. I should say that the plus side of the book um, is that it's very. Uh, it's very, it's extremely fast-paced. Um, it's very, very fun to read, even though, again, it can be very brutal at times. But the, I think the, one of the main criticisms of that series uh, is that the, the prophecies involved within the story and the point that I'm at right now where I'm about you know, two-thirds of the way through the book, uh, it seems like... I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura. Everything, um, is laid out completely, like, there, there aren't really many unknown, uh, parts of the prophecy. So that's what I found there. Oh, crap. So anyway, I'm just kind of waiting for the axe to drop with the series, so to speak. I'm not backing down. Oh, okay. 
okay, sir. Now what if I just wait a couple hours, try this again. No. out there. Give up while you can. <laughs> oh, this is where the, you really gotta love the bugs in this game, the glitches. Alright, let me just go in the cave and come back out. Anyway, I'm waiting for the axe to drop with the story because it seems like everything is laid out pretty clear in the story. Um, but I'm just not getting that push yet on I mean I like it I have the other books I know I'm going to continue um, where's he now is he like running after the bear where did he go break the game. You there! Hold fast! I know. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. Oh, okay. I've not let it have any more victims. Ethron, needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. Who could he possibly need my help with? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. All right. Well, I guess that was part of the his quest here. Help him defeat the bear. All right. I'm just gonna try to get like instruction. Let's just do, let's do Conjuration. go now. Is the bear in the cave? Does the bear all of a sudden... Never mind, the bear magic is yeah. The bear magically moved into the cave.
Try one handed or two handed up that skill. I might not have any. Oh wait, that is more recent. Again, let's go back.
even though there's still a huge uh oh let me try yeah, I don't want to do that let's just do this ah crap let's see if I have a magic potion nope I do not alright did it go away no, it did not. on stamina, I think I've heard. I need more magic. Alright, let's see what I can do with uh, Conjuration. There we go. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself, but my friends. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Here. 
I don't know if there is or not. That's not where I meant to go. Okay. Where? I need some. Oh shit. Gotta be something I'm missing here. How to get out of here? What wrong way did I turn? That makes it seem like I'm right on it. And then it does this, and then it drops me back. We should be straight ahead, no? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. How did I miss this before? There we go, my own stupidity on display. Alright, so I think that will be the end of today's broadcast of episode 2. Playing through 
Dawn Card expansion of Skyrim. So, hope you all enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time.